Right, so another knife I got from tacticalknives.co.uk sent as a review. Kind of one of the cheaper options. Combat tactical knife. It's called Barracuda Tactical Knife. And it's it's got your kind of I think it's called Kodora or nylon sheath. It's got I think it's got some sort of plastic insert in there. It's got some in there. Pretty it's pretty rigid. So just a standard kind of sheath with it. And from my eye looking at it, it's kind of based on Tom Brown tracker looking kind of knife. Um, length of the blade is 12 centimeters. Handle is about 10 centimeters and overall is about 21 and a half centimeters. So like I said, it's based on one of those, well to me it looks like it's based on one of those Tom Brown tracker type knives. So you've got different portions, one for chopping, one for like cutting and carving. It's not a heavy knife at all, I can't tell you the weight, but it's not heavy at all. So chopping wise, I don't know if that's going to be, it probably would chop small stuff if you wanted to like, kind of like chop a point on something. I'll put a, I'll put a picture of the price up now and it on the website. Yes, yeah, so you got this portion. This is on the Tom Brown tracker anyway. This portion would be for carving. This would be for chopping, making points and stuff. So you've got a lanyard hole, a large finger guard there. Some kind of bits on the back, whether that is for sawing or not, or making notches. And you kind of finger parts here. Now, some people might dismiss knives like this, but I'll tell you what these kind of knives are good for. Taking in the woods and using something you don't want to, you know, if, you, if it's something you don't mind wrecking or you're worried you might lose, that's perfect. Or as a backup knife. Have that, something like this, in a survival kit, in a bug out bag, as a backup knife. Somewhat what you might never end up using, but it's there. So just, you know, have your good knife, maybe have a good backup knife, and then have this one, cheap knife, right down at the bottom of the bug out bag, survival kit, whatever. And if you lose your good knife, you've still got something you can dig out. It didn't cost a lot of money, so it doesn't matter if you never use it, if you know what I mean. So we'll give it a little go. I'm not going to be doing no chopping in here, but I'll give it a, do, I'll give it a go doing some carving. So it could do with a bit of a sharpen straight out of the box. notches now, a lot of these knives there's never actually a saw on the back it's a knot it's just for notches well that kind of made a bit of a notch funny thing is this portion of the blade is sharper than this part Well, I'd say that would need a little bit of a sharpen. It's a knife, do you know what I mean? Um, 
it's not ever going to be kind of one of your collector's pieces nothing overly special but if you needed a cheap knife to go in a kind of bug out bag you know, right at the bottom use it as a backup that's something you can get right so I got that from tacticalknives.co.uk so have a look on their website I'll put a link in the description and everything grip is actually right grip don't feel too bad except for that part there is a little bit rough right Thanks for watching, and I'll see you later.